everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the Art and Science of Watch Collection. Today we're going to take a look at Roman's two watch collection. That uh, It's somewhat of a snobby collection because Roman told me he's, he's a type of snob that anybody who uh, spends more than 100 euros on a watch collection is not quite there so uh, this is a this is a very unique collection in that respect the first watch is the Seiko 5 the Seiko 5 is an interesting one this was first produced back in 1963 and was called the Seiko 5 because of five features the automatic winding the day date displayed in the uh, single window it was water resistant which at the time was something sort of neat uh, it had a recessed uh, crown at 4 o'clock position. Rather than having it right here, uh, it had it down here. This was upside down, of course. Uh, the And finally, it had a durable case and bracelet. In other words, this thing was built to, you know, to bang around in and, and not fall apart. Uh, and it also had something that they called uh, the magic lever that was used for bidirectional winding in, a, in an automatic. So the uh, rotor going around this way or this way, either way would wind it up. So it was, a, uh, it was quite a watch for its time. Now the second one that we're going to take a look at is from the USSR and it's called a pole jot alarm. And it has really sort of three dials on it. The innermost dial is the alarm setting. And the next dial has the hour markers on, hour markers on it. And then if you go out one more level, you have the minute markers. And uh, it's a very cool watch. And you have... Um, at the top, you have the alarm, and at the bottom, on well, let's say about the 2 o'clock, you have the alarm uh, crown, and then at the uh, 4 o'clock, you have the winding crown. So here's something interesting. Both the Seiko 5 and the Pole Jot uh, have the 4 o'clock <laughs> winding crown. And the movement in it is similar to the A-Shield Caliber AS 1475-2. Now, this is an, an important uh, feature because... Back then, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, back then, uh, the Soviets weren't too mm, they weren't too keen on recognizing copyrights and um, patents. <laughs> so there were some watches that they made that had very similar uh, movements as some other ones. Okay, now this next thing, and this is part of Romans doing things with watches. And I call it sort of do-it-yourself watchmaking, and it's it, it partially that, okay? And so uh, what uh, Roman told me, he said, well, he enjoys, uh, more so in the uh, winter, he said in Paris in the springtime it gets pretty nice, and <laughs> I don't believe him. Uh, so what he did is he takes apart watches and put them back together, uh, and also uh, clocks as well. And this is one of the watches... Uh, that he sent. And he said he he's, he does it with quartz watches because quartz watches are a lot easier. And I thought, well, wow, that's a good idea. You just get an old quartz watch and you sort of have your do-it-yourself uh, to take apart, see where everything goes, and then put it back together again. I've This is something I've got to try. It, it just sounds like such a, a neat lot of fun. Okay, uh, let's go back and take a closer look at the pole jot. Now, as I mentioned, the A-Shield shield, Caliber AS1475-2 was very similar. And, and you can see here in, in the pictures, uh, when they put them next to each other, they are. They're extremely similar. Uh, they both have the alarm um, stem or crown at uh, 2 o'clock, and they have the winding stem or crown down at uh, 4 o'clock. Okay, well, that's that's sort of a interesting uh, kind of thing, but uh, what about the age file or shield? Uh, shield. I don't know how to say it. I wish I did. Anyway, uh, that movement uh, 
has some must-haves, some pretty interesting things, including an alarm. I have some kind of little alarm hammer in there. I don't see it right in this particular picture, but I'm told it's there. Now, if this sounds all familiar, maybe it is, because <laughs> Roman pointed out the tutor advisor uses the a slow movement. And when we look at that, there we have something. You have an alarm crown up at 2 o'clock, a winding crown down at 4 o'clock. You have the in the inner uh, dial, you've got the alarm setting. In the outer dial, you've got the outer markers. <laughs> so now, one way to look at this is that um, Roman's pole jot alarm is sort of a one way to get your hands on what amounts to the same kind of operation that you have in a tutor okay and tutor as you know is made by rolex so one way to look at it roman's got a rolex related watch for a, a much better price like i said the uh, roman is rather proud of the fact that he didn't uh, waste any more than a hundred uh, euro on his entire collection and I think it's a great one <laughs> and a great way to find out about some different kinds of watches. Okay well uh, I'd be very interested to hear uh, your opinions on Roman's uh, collection uh, and what do you think of that? I, you know, what, what do you think about this kind of collection? And also, too, taking apart and putting back together um, quartz watches. Anyway, uh, this is Bill Sanders, the Watch Art Side, the Art and Science of Watch Collection. And hey, this is an invitation to subscribe if you like. We'll see you next Friday. Until then, Bill Sanders, signing off. <laughs>